Hey, what's going on guys? Chimney Swift here. Uh, good morning. And uh, today is obviously uh, the 14th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, 9 11 attacks uh, in New York City, uh, which happened, you know, a couple hours ago, 14 years ago, um, on a Tuesday morning and uh, on September 11th. So I, uh, I was just hanging out this morning. Um, just dropped Remy off at Puppy Daycare. Um, having some trouble breathing. I uh, <coughs> drinking some coffee, even though I don't normally usually drink coffee. But anyways, I have some really bad allergy problems. Um, been having some really strong um, congestion in my sinuses for almost a year now. I think it sort of started last November, and uh, occasionally. I get to the inflammation is so bad that um, the sinuses drain into my throat and then I my throat closes up <coughs> and I literally <clears throat> have moments where I just can't breathe. Um, I'm having one of those right now, but I uh, felt like right now is the the appropriate time because nor normally I don't record when I'm like this because I, I literally can't breathe. <clears throat> the only way to clear it up is through coughing and it's just it's not a pleasant thing at all um so i'm taking some nose spray and hopefully that stuff helps but due to uh due to today um and due to, to today being the anniversary 14 year anniversary of 9-11 i wanted to, to make a video on my second channel here um and just kind of kind of talk about it i've never really shared my 9-11 story um, I would have been 13 years old when it happened. I was born in 1988. Um, so I think, yeah, I would have been 13 years old. And I remember where I was. I was in, I was in eighth grade in my social studies class. Um, and I'm curious, I know a lot of you guys are probably younger. Um, uh, maybe not all of you, but a lot of you guys are probably younger who watch my videos. Do they show footage of the 9-11 attacks? Um, at school like I know for years after it happened like the footage of that was just really never shown because it was such a horrific thing but 14 years removed now sorry I can't breathe <coughs> it's like hard to take a deep breath <clears throat> that's so frustrating it's because all the mucus and everything is in my upper respiratory it just clogs the airway it's so noxious it goes away after like an hour but man so just wondering, do do schools sh nowadays show the footage of the 9/11 attacks? Um, you know, to educate you you guys, you young you young kids on what you know what actually happened, what what that history was like, or is that still footage that just isn't shown um, and that's sort of still under wraps? Because like I said, I remember after it happened a couple years, um, <clears throat> a year like ten years even afterwards, like they. And they still don't really even show it that much. I'm not saying that they should, but um, you know, it's a it's really powerful video. It's really uh, it invokes a lot of emotions for a lot of different people. Uh, for me specifically, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh man, for me, um, you know, it's uh, I was I was pretty young, like you know, 13 years old. I didn't really understand what was going on. I didn't even know what the World Trade Centers were until that day. Um, I hadn't even heard of them. I, was like some, I remember some kids in my, in my class had heard of it, but I, I didn't even know what it was. I, I'd never heard of the World Trade Center until um, September 11th, uh, 2001. And um, I, I remember I, I was so young at that point. Um, 13 is pretty young. When, when on, the, on the scale of trying to breathe uh, <laughs> on the scale of grasping world events 13 years old is extremely extremely young um you know if something like that were to happen today i would have a i'm 27 now i would have a much much better sort of uh grasp on the impact um the uh consequence um as well as as just like the uh the magnitude i guess um of, of of what was happening uh but then back then in 2001 at age 13 and being in eighth grade 
Um, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't particularly understand what was happening. Uh, I knew it was bad. Um, my, my initial gut reaction was when, when, when the news outlets started talking about maybe it was Osama bin Laden who was behind it all. Um, you know, every, everybody was, was, was angry. Everyone was like, let's get this guy, you know, let's, let's kill this guy, you know, take him out, make him pay for what he did. And, you know, obviously we did. Uh, a couple years ago, we got him, but that is thirteen. It's weird. It's 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 a really um, <clears throat> it was a it was a weird experience, and I, I remember being very scared too, um, in part because I didn't know what exactly was going on. But oh, I can't breathe today. <clears throat> Ooh, allergies, man, they're fun. This is a thing that keeps me from recording main videos some days too, which is really not cool. Um. I can't remember if we got to go home from school early. I can't remember or not. I think we may have had like a half day that day. But I do remember coming home um, and my mom just being like, just completely like in a panic and like frightened, um, shocked. I think when I got home, she gave me like a big hug and was crying. Um, and my dad did the same when he got home too. And so it was a really, really, really powerful and sort of emotional day. And like I said, at the same time, I, I didn't really understand it, but it's something that sticks out to me. Um, uh, you know, in my mind as as a uh, a really, really major life event, something that I will never, ever forget. Uh, and, you know, a story I hope to be able to tell my grandkids someday when they ask me about it, because, you know, historically speaking, this, is, this was one of the biggest things to ever happen um, to the United States. So... Uh, you know, today, you know, take a, I, I encourage you all to take a, take a, a minute to uh, pause and reflect and remember the people that died. Um, you know, for, for me personally, thankfully, I didn't know anyone that was affected um, or that died in the, in the World Trade Centers. But uh, there were countless amounts of people who were um, and who knew people uh, that knew people that worked there that, that passed away or um, someone who knew someone who knew someone that worked there or someone who knew someone who had a family member that worked there or something like that. So I definitely encourage you guys to, uh, man, <clears throat> I can't breathe right now. Uh, I definitely encourage you guys to, um, you know, take a moment of silence today, say some prayers, um, internally reflect on, on what happened uh, 14 years ago today because it's it's very important and it completely and utterly changed uh, the world and the way the United States operates uh, for better or for worse depending on how you view certain things um, opinions on which I won't be giving in this video but um, yeah it's uh, it's crazy it feels like just yesterday too pretty pretty nuts so um, yeah Anyways, I thought I'd throw a vlog up on this channel today. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Friday. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.